So a little bit about the Ice Age. Um, over the last 50 million years, um, we have been getting gradually colder and colder and colder. Um, so from about 50 million years ago in the uh, uh, beginning of the year scene, uh, average global temperatures were considerably warmer than they are now. So this is the time of, uh, of the uh, London climate. So <clears throat> in that period of time, things have got a lot colder. And in the last couple of million years, and I'll uh, close in on this, um, it, it's got a great deal colder again. Um, and it could be because around here, uh, the Isthmus of Par Panama, basically South America and North America joined. And so um, uh, you couldn't get oceanic circulation going around there. So oceanic circulation patterns changed completely and you start um, uh, in, the, in this area, you start getting these uh, much colder uh, temperatures. Let's just zoom in on that and just note that humans have only been around for this little bit of time here. Um, uh, I don't, I'm going to say homonyms are only going to be around for this little time here. And we might worry about what we're doing to the climate, but we're doing nothing compared to this. Mind you, that's over 50 million years. So this is the last uh, 5 million years, uh, Pleistocene over the last 2.5 million years. And you can see what happens is that it's, there's a steady downward trend, but it also starts to get very much more variable. Um, <clears throat> and these points here, all of these little points, the, the, the minima along here, are the ice ages. And then between them, it gets quite warm again, but only relatively warm, not as warm as it used to be. So um, it goes up and down and up and down. The uh, old, the, the maximum, okay, uh, was at this point here. And then uh, the most recent was um, here, and we'll, we'll look at those sorts of things. One of the things that happens during an ice age, when you create a lot of ice, <laughs> hence the name, um, and then you pile it on land, is that sea level goes down. Because basically you're locking up that water and sticking it on land in terms of thick ice. And um, so sea level has gone down, or, or at those times, was very much lower than it is now. So this is the maximum. This is the one that Richard was talking about, uh, where the, uh, it is believed that the ice came down to just north of London. Um, in fact, the Thames used to run out through Suffolk up here, and it was diverted during this time, and only now runs through to, the Thames, to what we call the Thames estuary. Um, this is the point at which, in theory, if, if there were homonyms around, you could have stood on, a, on the hills here and maybe just have seen the, uh, uh, the glaciers in the distance. Maybe. Um, but the other thing is that this is basically the edge of the land. The sea retreated way, way out here to what is currently the shelf edge. So there's, uh, there's sort of quite shallow seas and then it drops off to the very deep sea. And that's here. And the Thames, uh, there's bodies of water here, but the Thames, the Somme, the Seine, basically all of the North uh, <clears throat> European rivers and all of the uh, South British rivers basically uh, emptied down into this, the Channel River, uh, which went all the way down here and across to, um, to the shelf edge here. All of this was land. There was no, no distinction. The most, that's the maximum. The most recent was the Devensian Ice Age. Um, and this, only ended about 10,000 years ago. Now, you might think that's a long time ago, 
but geologically speaking, that's yesterday. It is very soon. Um, <clears throat> and during the Devensian, um, there was uh, an ice cap basically on, uh, on, on Scotland and uh, much of Ireland and Wales and all of this sort of area. Um, but and again, same sort of thing before. Um, the uh, the edge of the uh, of land was way way out here, um, and again all those rivers, the the now diverted Thames, joined up with the uh, the Rhine and the rest of it and poured down the Channel River. <clears throat> now our local area was with it was down here within what's called here an area of extensive permafrost. What does that mean? That means the ground is frozen. It is bloody cold. <clears throat> and um, the, the ground is, is frozen to some depth. Um, essentially, it's tundra, uh, whether or not you've got mammoths wandering around. Um, at the peak of this is another matter. But certainly, as it built up or as it went away, and if things got a bit warmer than they, where they were there, and there would have been, at, at, at the peak time, very little vegetation for a mammoth or indeed anything else to eat. 